Your Excellency, Ministers, Honourable Representative of uh, South Sinai, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Mario Maniewicz, Director of uh, Radio Communication Bureau, Excellencies, Ministers who come from our members to join us at this uh, closing plenary, Head of the Delegations, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I'm very pleased and happy to address you at this closing moment of WRC 2019. You have just completed the most intense four-week conference, and you have achieved excellent results that you can all be proud of. I will not repeat what the director of the Radio Communication Bureau has said about the important outputs and the many decisions that were agreed. I'm confident that the outcome of this conference will have a profound and important impact on the business world for decades to come providing a major contribution to making the world a better and a safer place for all. Dear colleagues, four weeks have passed since His Excellency President uh, Sisi and uh, his uh, Prime Minister joined us for the opening ceremony. President Sisi had invited us to come to Egypt three years earlier. He spent these years preparing for our conference, and he came in person to express his personal wishes for our success. During the opening ceremony, the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres, delivered his video message to congratulate our conference. Later that day, I was very honored to receive a letter from President Trump of the United States expressing his personal support for WRC 2019 and wishing us all success. World leaders have widely recognized the important role of ITU. And this historic international treaty, the radio regulations, which is now 113 years old. I'm very pleased with this recognition. I, I thank them all for their support. WRC 2019 has demonstrated that ITU deserves these appreciations. Dear colleagues, I'm happy with the output, but also with the family spirit that has prevailed over the entire conference and throughout the four years preparation period by ITUR members, including the important and effective coordination role played by the six regional groups. The family spirit has helped us succeed over this long period of time. We had moments of disagreements. We had some evening sessions and weekend sessions quite difficult. Many were exhausted, and some poor colleagues even collapsed. However, I'm very pleased to note that you are here. You all look healthy and happy here. Let me say that ITU's family is a very good family, and you are all good members. I appreciate you all. Let us continue our journey of innovations 
Now, let us work together to implement the results of WRC 2019. As you have noted, I have engaged with the development of the revised resolution 12. I highly appreciate all engaged with that work. I would continue to work with all parties to implement resolution 12, as I will do for all outputs of WRC 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, at this happy moment, I would like to express my personal appreciation and thanks to the host and the individuals who have played key roles in the management of this conference. I thank the administration of Egypt for hosting us and for providing us with excellent facilities and the security measures for all our needs and requirements. Our Egyptian brothers and sisters have hosted all of us with the highest level of Egyptian generosity and hospitality that warms our hearts. The host team, coordinated by His Excellency Minister Amir Tala, with the full engagement of the NTRA team, has worked over three years to prepare for WRC 2019. Let me take this opportunity also thank the president of NTIA who is with us at this moment and through him to his entire team of staff of NTIA. We thank them all. Please give them a big applause. I thank Mr. Barawi from Egypt for his outstanding work as chairman of WRC 19. He has shown extraordinary leadership and we are all grateful for his tireless dedication to the task. His deep knowledge of radio technology, skilled management, remarkable passion and wonderful personality have contributed to bringing this event to such a successful conclusion. I extend my gratitude to the six vice chairs of the conference for their excellent work, and to the committee chairs, vice chairs, chairs of subcommittees, working groups, and ad hoc groups who have done a tremendous job Congratulations and appreciations. I would also like to convey my thanks to all the members of the Radio Regulations Board who have done and will continue to do such important work for ITU. Let me also express my congratulations and appreciations to Mr. Mario Maniewicz, Director of the Radio Communication Bureau, and to Ms. Joanna Wilson, Secretary of the Plenary, and to all staff of the Radio Communication Bureau, and to the staff of the General Secretary engaged with WRC 2019, including the interpreters for their professional contributions and enthusiastic dedications to the work of WRC 2019. I thank them all. Yeah. I also thank the security staff, technicians, volunteers, and others who have served the conference in the past four weeks. Surely, I would like to add my appreciations
to those individuals highlighted by the director of radio communication bureau in his speech and highlighted by the chairman of the WRC 2019 in his speech. And those individuals really deserve our appreciation. WRC 2019 will stay in IT history with many wonderful memories. WRC 19 will be associated with Shamashink forever. I hope all delegates will keep this good memory and I wish you all success in the future. I wish those who will return home after WRC 2019 a safe return and of course wish those who stay with CPM have a nice time with CPM. If we're not too early, I wish you all a happy new year 2020. I now wish to present a certificate to merit and the matter to the WRC 2019 chairman, Mr. Badawi. I thank you very much for your attention.